In our investigative series, Banking Below 30, we've been reporting how banks lend relatively little money to Dallas's minority community. In response to those stories, the nation's top banking regulators have joined together in an unprecedented effort to find solutions. They want to get credit flowing to long disenfranchised neighborhoods. Here's David Schechter. The United States has three banking regulators, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, and the Federal Reserve Bank. It's their job to hold banks accountable for meeting the credit needs of low income and minority communities. And the regulators have a lot of power to do that, but as we've reported in many cases, they have failed to use their power. The regulators look the other way when banks draw service area maps that exclude minority neighborhoods. They look the other way when branches hardly make any loans in the minority neighborhoods where they're located. And they look the other way when banks invest billions in slum apartment buildings that trap families in poverty. Now, in response to our stories, all three regulators have taken a rare step. They have joined forces looking for ways to increase the flow of credit to minority neighborhoods. The effort began recently with a private session where community members voice their extreme frustration over banks that have abandoned their neighborhoods. And much of the testimony came from people who've been interviewed in our previous stories, like Robert Petrie. He's a businessman who has struggled to get loans despite being financially successful. Your story woke him up and you showed in the, those stories that the regulators had to know that the banks was not lending money. You know, so you, you expose the, the whole economic embargo of the inner cities of, of America. At the meeting, regulators heard that many banks make no effort to understand how they've historically disenfranchised these neighborhoods, and they make no effort to tailor financial products that address that kind of systemic racism. What do you think ought to happen now in this community? I would say if banks don't lend to businesses in our community, and especially black businesses, that we need to protest the Federal Reserve Bank, the FDIC, the OCC. We need to protest them. So what comes next? Well, regulators like the Dallas Fed say they will share their new findings with their bank examiners in the field whose job it is to ensure that institutions follow the law. And they will meet with representatives of the banking community in November with an agenda of improving access to credit for minorities in Dallas. There is a uh, investigative report out um, by a local television station. At a recent town hall meeting, the president of the Dallas Fed said his staff has been spending a lot of time talking to banks about these problems. We see why this report is coming out. Uh, we are concerned about access to financial services and low moderate income communities. We're, we're, we're worried about uh, and we're, we're aware of a lack of lending availability. We got a long way to go though. And, uh, and we've got a lot of work to do because yeah, as this reporter has said, uh, there's a lack of access and a lack of lending, and we've got to do much better. But after decades of frustration and disenfranchisement, people like Petrie hope the ultimate result is more than just words. In Dallas, I'm David Schechter reporting.